morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. It's water baptism weekend. Now, we water baptize people every service, every week, and every campus. But once a year, we set aside a special day to just really emphasize this. This is your first step in obedience to Christ. So if you've not been water baptized, we want to encourage you just be in any of our services one hour early, and it will be our privilege to sit down and talk with you and work with you and counsel with you and lead you in that first step of water baptism. Well, Pastor Summer, how much? I understand most churches charge for water baptism. Everything about the gospel at COP is free. Come will be pleased and privileged to be a part of your first step in obedience. Right now, I want us to come back to the book of Acts chapter 14, beginning with verse 26. We find a, a partial answer to a puzzling question. I've been preaching now since I was 18 years old, and I'm 60, so that's 42 years. I've pastored Cathedral of Praise for over 37 years. I've watched a lot of young preachers, men and women, go out and be completely unsuccessful waste their lives in fruitlessness, and you look at them and you go, they have a lot of ability, they have a lot of charisma, they, they, they're very intelligent. Why is it that they've been so fruitless in their ministry? When Paul and Barnabas went out on their first evangelistic tour, of which they started building great churches all across Galatia, Paul and Barnabas were sent out sent out by the Holy Spirit, sent out by the leadership of the church. It was a beautiful cooperative thing. Now, they were very successful on that trip. And it says when they came back in verse 26, after going through Poseidon and coming into Pamphylia, and when they reached where they preached the word of the Lord in Perga, then they went down to Italia. From Italia, they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been committed to the grace of God for the work they had now completed, where they had been committed to the grace of God for the work they had now committed, completed. Committed to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. Did you get that? Committed to the grace of God for the work, this specific task that they had now completed. As pastors, one of the things we have to face in life is we can't do anything of ourselves. I don't care how intelligent we are or how clever we are or how smart we are. When it comes to really building the true church, I'm not talking about an event place or, or a social club or a social movement, but building the true church, getting people saved, getting people healed, casting out demons. I mean, doing the true work of the gospel. You can't do that by yourself. You are committed to grace for that work. Now, there are many young men and young women that today... They have no concept of the local church. They're rebellious in their hearts. They're sinful in their hearts and don't want to be held accountable. And they just run around buying freelancing. And they've never been committed to the grace of God for a work. They've never had the Holy Spirit say, this is the work I have for them. Elders lay hands on them and send them out after laying hands on them, committing them to grace, and then walking in that grace for the work that God has called them to do. Now, if you're listening to me and you're one of those little rebellious ones, please forgive me, but straight talk. At some point, don't you want to be fruitful? At some point, don't you want to begin to see all the dreams that God has put in your heart come to pass? Then, then stop the rebelliousness, stop the foolishness, get into a local church that Jesus has made you a part of, be submissive to the leadership of that local church that Jesus has made you a part of, and then when they send you out and commit you to grace for the work that God has for you, you're gonna see a whole different flow of success in your life. Because forgive me, you're not successful by your own efforts, you're only successful by grace. Mm -hmm. 